Number 11. A tire has a tread pattern with a crevice every 2 centimeters. Each crevice makes a single vibration as the tire moves. What is the frequency of these vibrations if the car moves at 30 meters per second? All right, so basically it's a little confusing how they're giving it, you know, how they're giving it to us, but basically there are crevices in the tire here. They're each they're, they are each spaced about two centimeters apart. And every time the tire rotates here, all right, when these crevices come in contact, we'll say with the ground, they're gonna make a vibration. So it's gonna be something like this. Right, every time it came in contact with the ground there, it made a certain vibration that I decided to choose a clucking noise to make the vibration for. Okay, anyway, um, so what we need to do is we need to basically find the frequency, right? And in this case, we have to understand frequency is basically, you have to understand just the general nature of what frequency is. Forget about the formula. I mean, formula is one over period, that's great. But what is what is exactly does, can, how can I define what this kind of means? It basically means the number of cycles I, I can't spell either. Number of cycles per second. Okay. Now, the term cycle is very general. It could be oscillations. It could be waves. It could be, oh, wait a minute, contacts with the ground. Right? Contacts with the ground. All right. Every second. So that's basically what we have to find. We have to find the number of contacts per second. Okay. So essentially, I know that I have my velocity here, right? And that is basically meters a distance per second. So I, I already know, you know, thinking about this dimensionally, when I use my velocity here in my calculation, I know that it's going to have to be 30.0 meters per second, okay? And now on this, I'm going to be multiplying a value, all right, by... Uh, this term because I don't I, I can't have meters per second I have to be I have to have contacts per second right so just keep this actually you know what I'll do I'm gonna start just keep this in mind all right I'm gonna actually well I no never mind sorry okay I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this way but notice that essentially I have meters here and this is in centimeters so I already notice I have a difference in units so first let's get the units to be consistent so let's get rid of meter here and let's get it into centimeter it doesn't matter you could have done it the other way too it does not matter so meter on the bottom centimeter on the top there's a hundred centimeters in a meter okay good so now basically what this tells me is that 30 times 100 right which is 3,000 I have 3,000 centimeters that's moving right around this tire every second so Basically, what that means now is if 100 centimeters is traveling every second and these things are spaced every two centimeters, what that basically means is I have the number of contacts per second would simply, I would have to take this now thing, get rid of centimeters, and I could say there's one contact per two centimeters, right? So notice if the units cancel this way, I'm basically left with now contacts per second, Oh, wait a minute, number of contacts per second because it's basically number of vibrations per second, right? It's the same thing, so that's it. This is all it is. So it's basically 3,000 divided by two, which works out to be 1,500, all right? And then we can say contacts per second in terms of just frequency now, you're just gonna leave it in terms of hertz, which is just per second, all right? Cycles per second. You can write that out too, but technically the, the unit should be hertz, but that's it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.